Come on. Do 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 do. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Okay. Anyway, Akali. She's pretty good, though I can't play her for the life of me. I really not good with assassins or all or anything with a high skill cap and stuff like that. Whenever there's a character with a a lot of outplay potential, my brain just goes, "Nope, you are not playing this character ever." <laughs> Now I'm not gonna go full detail about what it, exactly what a kit does. I've already done that in previous video, so go check that out. I'm just gonna give my opinion on her as a whole. Though I can't seem to find my training power. Oh, there she is. She's in the bot lane. Her Q's range is a bit short. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's also kind of weird because the level of one. I mean, rank one. It deals. No, sorry. It's cooldown. Bleh. Speak clearly. It costs 100 energy with this, which is half your pool. <laughs> and yet it has a cooldown of like two seconds. Kind of an odd choice, if you ask me. And I deal that much damage because I'm full build. You're probably not gonna be able to burst people quite that easily. I do like her W, that it starts as a puff of smoke and then it becomes this circle. Kind of reminds me of that asshole in Pinocchio. Remember that guy and the guy who smoked? Whatever. <laughs> I'd like her E as well. It's a bit weird though because it's like Lee Sin Q but he launches himself backwards every time it he did it. The good part is that you can jump over walls, you can juke stuff, but it's also your engage tool. You need to land the shuriken on something so you can dash in and start murdering people. A little awkward, but it takes practice, I guess. Your ult is awesome because the first part stuns and this part deals magic damage based on their missing health. With health, which hurts a lot, <laughs> of course. I suppose you have to utilize your passive a lot well too. Hold on, I'm just gonna... Because you... it's kind of weird because it creates that circle, so in order to get your passive off you have to disengage a bit. Though if you land your E on someone then you get it automatically pretty much. Once again, a little weird. Have to disengage when you're a little bit when you're an assassin. Now, all that said, I do like this character <laughs> because there's a lot to it. It's not a simple character at all, which I like. I just can't capitalize on it. <laughs> she has some decent emotes as well. I like this one especially. I don't know why, it just makes me think of a gorilla's music video when I see this. So, she looks better than in her previous incarnation. She's a lot stronger too. Previously she couldn't do anything pre-6. Now she can. She's definitely hard to play though. And I do know what you people like. Your characters with a bit of a skill captain. So, you guys can probably use this much better than I could ever hope for. So have fun with her. I probably will too. I don't think I'll be playing her too much. Because, well, I'm not good at this game. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. See you, blue buff.